hello and welcome back if you're new hello welcome feel free to subscribe so today we are talking all about my unicorn slash mermaid hair as you can see i have redyed it and if you didn't know before if you're new my hair was very faded very very faded and at the minute it's already started to fade i did this the week before christmas and i meant to finish up that video you know that week but various things happened and it didn't happen so i'm not getting right to it and i have washed my hair quite a few times since i have been using uh, a really good shampoo conditioner combo to help keep the color in which i will show you very very briefly actually because they're right here it's the paul mitchell shampoo and conditioner i raved about them in my december favorites so you can check that out but they've been really helping to keep the color in because as you know my hair is really porous from about here down because you know repeated bleaching so I wanted to show you how I actually create this look and what you need to do to go about obtaining something similar. Now before we start, I want to preface saying uh, my hair was previously bleached, so my hair would already be, have been slightly darker than this mid-length kind of tone. Um, and sort of verging towards more golden blonde, again it was starting to become a wee bit brassy of itself. So my hair had already been bleached, please note. Um, I bleached my hair myself when I originally started doing this about a year and a half ago. And that was not a good idea. I do not recommend bleaching your own hair unless you have a clue about what you're doing. Um, if you want to make sure your hair stays in pretty good condition, go to a hairdresser, get a bleach professionally, get it done properly because it will save your hair. It took a long time for my hair to recover and then I went to a hairdresser and got it bleached properly earlier this year and that was the best plan of the whole lot. It was really good. I actually kept my hair pretty light for a week while after getting it done because it was just a really nice colour. Now, however, I'm back to being a unicorn. So my hair was pre-bleached. If you have dark hair and your hair is not, you know, light, light blonde, it might be worth getting that done before you start. I'm aware it can be expensive, but have a good look about. It's just, re it's recommended for the healthier hair to get it done properly because they know what they're doing, basically. So let's get stuck in. I actually remember to take footage this time. Are you proud of me? So I started with the mid lens because it's the lightest color of the whole lot and it actually has lightning stuff in it. So this is the Live Lightener and Twist and I have the shade 101 Rose. Um, and it's just a very simple kit. It's one of the ones where you add the color into the bottle and you give it a really, really good shake and make sure it's all thoroughly mixed. Now I'm very fortunate that I have my husband to help me out, which is really good because I have a lot of hair. If you have a friend that you can bribe with a glass of wine afterwards, worth doing. Really, really worth doing to make sure you can get all of your hair in. So rose gold, I did it. We didn't do the ends. We literally just did the mid section. So from a couple of inches below my root um, to a couple of, well, quite a few inches from the end. Um, and we did that all over. You have to do it to dry hair. So this is why I had to do this in stages. It took me a couple of hours to do this. Um, so we did the mid lengths, let that set for however long is necessary, and then came back, washed it all out, dried my hair, and then we went on to the next step. to do the roots now you can see the roots are a ready dark well a dark plummy red I guess is maybe a good color for it or violet as they have called it this is L76 yeah L76 and it's ultraviolet and again this is from Schwarzkopf and it's an intense color and lift again with the lifting this is to help lift so my roots had grown out a fair bit so I'm gradually darkening longer length but my roots had grown out a bit and I wanted everything to just, I really liked the colour of this and I really liked how it looked. So we did the roots and we tried to overlap a wee bit with the lighter rose colour. Now there are parts where you can definitely see some brassiness through, um, but you can't really see it once the hair is moving, do you know what I mean? You can definitely see it if you inspected it really closely and you went looking for it, but it's minimal. 
and I didn't want to overlap it too much because of the lightening product. If you overlap bleach on top of bleach on top of, your hair is going to break off. And I already have enough issues with weak hair and porous hair breaking. So I didn't want to over egg that. So we were pretty careful in the application. We made sure we got the root and out a wee bit with a tiny amount of overlap, of kind of avoiding too much overlap if we could. And that was how we did the root. So we did lightest color and then dark color on the root. Now the ends, these are all temporary colors. Um, so I don't mind that they're faded because I will just do them again in like a week or so. Um, although, let me see. Yeah, so my husband and I divided and conquered and it came up with this effect <laughs> so you can sort of see where some of it looks a bit blocky which i don't really mind and then your other bits you've got narrower bits in between we took all different range of um width basically so he grabbed bits and i do a bit and he grabbed another bit and he do smaller i do bigger we didn't have any rhyme or reason to it but we did use two of the Schwarzkopf Live XXL colors. We have 094, which is the purpley color, and you can see it stains the tube, and 096, which is the blue color. We also have a green color in there, which you can't really see, because it kind of came out a wee bit bluey. But if you look at my hair, there are two different shades of blue, as you can sort of see there. They were meant to be kind of a green which is a wee bit annoying. And this is tropical green, and this is from Stargazer. Uh, this comes in one with a nozzle, so you have this. It's okay to use the bottle like this. Something I like with Stargazer is that it has a cap, so you can seal it on the inside of the bottle. So you don't need to worry about it drying out when you're not using it, because temporary colors, it can be annoying that they dry out or whatever. I like that this comes with a cap to seal it up, and the nozzle makes it easier to use, in my opinion. Um, so this is Stargazer in Tropical Green. So those were the colours I used on the end. And again, you just pop them on, leave them for half an hour, 45 minutes. I tend to leave them for 45 minutes generally. Um, just because it leaves a better colour for a wee bit longer. And my hair is so porous, it needs all the help it can get. But the results were all these different colours. So I really, really like how it came out. And I just love having this multi-tonal hair all the way, th all the way through. Through? Through. It, <laughs> it just looks more like me and it's nice to be back being colorful again and it's just lovely i love having it done i always look at myself afterwards and go oh that's better so much better so much better um so that's how i create my hair pretty exciting like i said if you can rope a friend in if you're like myself with a lot of hair it's worth doing especially with the overlap if you don't Get yourself set up with a big mirror in the front and if you can set one up behind you um, definitely recommend it i definitely recommend you have some sort of comb with a nice pointy end on it or better again a little brush like this you can get different sizes of these but they have a nice pointy end and i was forever using the ends to section my hair to make sure we were getting in at the root and stuff and it's just very handy and if you have a little brush it might be easier for you to reach the back of your head if you're doing it yourself so some sort of something to help separate your hair and hair dividers and all that kind of stuff very very handy to keep your hair out of the way but yeah this will last me now it's already lasted me so it's last me a couple of weeks so far say about two weeks and it's no it has to be more than that it feels like it has lasted me longer than that <laughs> Yeah, it's lasted me three weeks because I had it for my last week of work. Is that right? Anyway, it's lasted a fair while, so it's lasted quite a few washes. Um, as I mentioned in my December favourites, my new shampoo and conditioner is really good for my hair, but it means I have to wash my hair more often because it's actually in better condition, so it's producing, oh, you know what I mean. It's not drying my hair out, so my hair needs a wee bit more love. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed. I love how it turned out. I just, it always... Yeah, makes me happy, makes me feel much more me. Um, and when I comb it through, because I just washed it and let it dry today, I rarely dry my hair anymore if I don't need to, because, you know, my hair isn't bad enough neck. But you can see, it's just all, it's all lovely. It's all nice. I like it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, hopefully the video is pretty self-explanatory on how we did it. And that's it. Thanks a million for watching. 
Please like if you liked, please subscribe if you haven't already, that would massively help me out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!